All right, yo, what's up, bro? Um, this is a little bit more of a serious video today, as you can tell by the title. This is how to get over a breakup as a young man. If you're a woman, I'm... I guess you could use this advice as well, to be honest. But yeah, this is mainly catered to my audience. Pretty much, it's going to hurt. The pain is inevitable. Like, you just need to accept that, but... What you can change in terms of the pain is how long it lasts. And that depends on what you do from now on. I'm going to act as if you've just been through a breakup in the last couple of days. Because eventually most people do go through one. So having this knowledge is pretty important. There's a few don'ts that you need to like stay away from. I think the main one would be trying to find a replacement and distractions. Trying to find a replacement would be like talking to new girls or guys right after the breakup. It's unnecessary. Don't do it. Doesn't fix anything. <laughs> it, I, I, don't, I don't know why people think that will like help. It just really does not. And distractions I mean is like binge watching Netflix, video games, porn, all of that shit. Don't do it. That literally just delays the pain because you're overstimulating your mind. So you will literally be hurt for a longer time if you indulge in all that shit. Also, don't ask questions. I know you probably have a lot of questions that you want to ask the person, but honestly, you need to just accept the fact that they probably don't even have an answer to that question. That's something that I personally wanted to do. Like I wanted to ask them. Why did you do this? All this fucking... Bro, don't do it. It's... Yeah. Chasing answers doesn't fix anything. And even when you get the answers, it doesn't... It doesn't change the situation in any way, shape, or form. And... You're still hurt. So... Yeah. And... Also... This is what to do from now. So instead of flooding yourself with all these fucking distractions, alcohol, video games, what you want to do is do productive shit. Go to the gym. Anything that you wanted to do before this, do it. This is like the time to be selfish and actually go ahead and like maybe buy the shit that you wanted to get or do the shit that you wanted to do. Because now you're like a free man. If that makes sense. But, yeah. I'm honestly excited for you. Honestly. This is... This is like a rite of passage type shit. If it's your first breakup and you're watching this video, I'm genuinely excited for you because... Fuck, man. If you go to the gym, you could actually become shredded. I am not kidding. Because, like... The motivation factor, you don't need to worry about it anymore. You are like, you have free motivation for weeks, fucking months. You literally are disciplined for free now. Abuse it. That's my advice to you. And you will literally see changes. Like, insane changes. Maybe not you, but your friends around you, they will notice because... They don't see you every day, but you see yourself every day. So progress is usually seen from the outside a lot more than what you see yourself as. Honestly, like, <laughs> this is what I did. Um, fuck it. Okay, so this is me before my breakup. I'm just going to edit a photo in. And this is me today. What well, breakup? I kind of just got hurt, but yeah. This advice works no matter how hurt you are. Honestly, take a photo and then like compare them from like five months from now. You'll be insanely shredded. I might make a video soon on what not to do in the gym, like mistakes that I made or common mistakes in the gym. Um, I have a Discord in my description. So I've got like 10 people right now since I just made it. Yeah. Honestly, if you made it this far, good luck, man. Peace.